All right, let's get to it. This is the Yamaha AR192 SHO intercooler, and we're swapping to the SVHO intercooler, which performs slightly better and helps with the uh, heat soak. So uh, at the top of the intercooler, first thing we needed to do was loosen up that, um, I'm going to call it a hose, the air hose at the top. Uh, I'll show you guys how that looks in a couple minutes, exactly which clamps, but there's only two clamps that you're supposed to take off. So that is the first clamp that you remove, and down there is the second clamp. That's going to help you uh, take the intercooler out. Uh, then there's another hose post the intercooler that goes into the intake, and again, that also has two clamps. So uh, there's a few bolts that you need to remove. Uh, they're right there, shiny, bright, stainless ones on the left. Uh, so this is a picture of me using my Milwaukee tool to get it out. Uh, prepare to have some extensions on hand because you're going to need them to, get to access those bolts. Uh, so here we are removing that bottom bolt. Uh, it wasn't too hard. Again, you just need some extensions. The job is actually not that bad. So there we are with the hose loose. Uh, you can see that the intercooler is now loose as well. There's one more bolt at the bottom. You can see it right through that, uh, that space there. Again, extensions are going to be your friend on this project. So that is the old intercooler after we take it out. Again, it's not really hard. Uh, two hoses, three bolts, and it pops right out. And then this is the new one. So between both, you can see the difference. This one has a little bit more uh, of the rigidity. You can see the four lines or the five lines going through it versus the smaller one. Here we are side by side. Uh, the one on the right is the SVHO, the, uh, the slightly more performing intercooler. It is a little bigger, but you won't be able to really see it in this picture. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that these hoses were different. So after I purchased the SVHO intercooler, I wound up having to order a new hose that goes right into the intake, which I do have the part number for at the end. And here you can see that assembled. Uh, it's really hard to record and work on the boat at the same time. But again, this is a really simple project. Uh, one thing to note is that the new intercooler does have two outlets, or pissers as they call them. Um, a lot of guys just get a Y and they combine it to the same hose that was already run by the factory. What I did was I actually ran a brand new hose. Uh, so here you can see the original lines run and that's where we're going to run the new line. Uh, and what I did was I got some heater uh, core hose from an auto parts store. Uh, there you see I drilled through the hole. I use a pilot drill bit and then the larger drill bit to get the new water pistol through. And again, I'm going to list part numbers at the end. And then I did run that heater core hose. Uh, I did zip tie them together so they're not, you know, it's not dangling around. And I ran it as close to the factory lines as I could. Uh, again, so here you can see how they're run. And this is where I trim up the hose and I connect it to the intercooler. Uh, so the only thing that had me a little worried was that little uh, bend. Um, I went ahead and connected it anyway. And I also did change that stainless steel band clamp that was closer to the hull. Uh, but here the hose is run. Again, stainless steel band clamp on the inside, stainless steel band clamp all the way at that added pisser. Uh, so I do wind up removing the graphics from the hull, and it looks a lot cleaner now. There's all the part numbers that I used. Um, again, not a complicated project. If you guys have any questions, leave them below in the comments. Thank you.